All right, so we have three main sections of CloudFormation templates left to cover. So let's go ahead and talk about mappings. So this is one of those top nine level keys and a mapping and a mapping section follows this format. So it probably doesn't look like anything surprising. It's just a map of maps or objects, whatever you wanna call them, though technically they're maps because we're not quite in JavaScript land. The question upon seeing this is always, okay, well, that's great, but when and where would this be useful? Uh, and, and, you know, that's a good question. Up until last year, they actually had a very common usage pattern. So Amazon machine images, ones like Amazon Linux 2. Well, you probably want the latest version uh, whenever you go to launch one, right? And as you know, every Amazon machine image has a unique ID. Well, even though all of the Amazon machine images out there are, you know, that are Amazon Linux 2, for example, even though those are all the same, they actually have a different ID based on the region. So the latest Amazon Linux 2 AMI, while the same, has a different ID if you're in US East 1 than it does if you're in US West 2, for example. And so the problem with this is that we can't just put down the AMID in our CloudFormation template. Well, I mean, we can, but if we were to say use the US East 1 one here, well, then we can never use this template anywhere else other than US East 1. And okay, so this is where mappings come into play. In fact, let's just go straight over to the mapping documentation. So I'm in the template anatomy section of the docs. I'm gonna come over to mappings. All right, and so let's scroll down to examples, right down here. So here's just take, take a look at this example and we can see an exact example of using mappings to solve the problem we just talked about. So what's happening here? Well, we have a region map. So a region map, and each one of the keys in this map is for an AWS region. And for each one of those regions, we have another map in here for a different type of AMI, the HVM64 and the G2. Now, it in, to see it in usage, let's go take a look at an EC2 instance down here. So an image ID. And so what's it going to do? Well, normally you would just put the ID of your image, right? Well, in this case, they're using the function find in map, and this is the intrinsic function you use to interact with mappings that you've created. And so they're saying find in map, and this intrinsic function, let me go open this up down here in intrinsic function so you can see its inputs. Find in map, and what does it take? It takes the map name, the top level key, and then the second level key. So the top level key is the name of the map, the second level key is right in here. Well, which one of these regions do we want to look through? And they're using a pseudo param. And so once we've found the particular one that we want, it's saying, hey, we want the HVM 64. So if we were in US East 1, what this would evaluate to, evaluate to is it would find the region map, find US East 1, and then grab the value from HVM 64. And so that's all it's doing. It, it, that's generally what mappings are for. And so that's pretty neat. We're just using a combo of that map, intrinsic function, a ref, and a pseudo parameter to get this done. And so this example would work in any region. Now, that all being said, there's three things. First up, this particular problem, and honestly, this was probably the most common thing you would see mappings used for is controlling the different image IDs for either your instances or your auto scaling groups that you're using. Well, with the new SSM parameter types that we talked about in passing at the beginning, there's a much easier way to get the most, to get the latest AMI uh, given a region. Um, however, you know, if you are using custom AMIs that are not ones made by Amazon or maintained by other folks, you know, you would need to come and do this yourself. The second thing is we're not going to be using any mappings for this particular template. I mean, there's just, there's just really not a reason we would just be making stuff up. And then finally, even though this example is talking about Amazon machine images, you can use these maps for whatever you want. Maybe you have a list of maintainers per region and you want the author appropriately filled in based on that region. Well, what you would do is if we hop back over here to our template, you would just have a mapping with all the different regions and their names. So just imagine mapping like maintainer each region. And then instead of another big thing here, right? Uh, 
you would just have name and then just the name of the maintainer. And with that in hand, you could follow this pattern right here to put that down for the author right there. Um, so yeah, and so you could do that. You can make a map of how many, there are other things you could do. You can make a map of how many instances you want launched based on region. I mean, there's a number of things that you can do, but just don't forget that all mappings is, is nothing other than a map of maps that you can reference in your template.